In this lesson, we will add pages, set jumps for the lesson activity and then attempt the lesson as student. First, click on the lesson activity, the universe, to open it. We can edit the lesson further from the edit tab. We can import question to the lesson, import PowerPoint files, add a content page containing only content or add a question page which contains content and a question also. We can also add a cluster of question and content pages to the lesson. Let's click on add a content page link. Let's enter the page title as Universe. In the page contents text box, enter the content for the lesson. You can also copy the content from the file, the universe and paste in this box. And leave the highlighted checkboxes to default. It would allow content buttons to appear in horizontal layout. Scroll down to reveal other options. In the description box for content 1, content 2, etc. we have to enter names of the pages that would be linked to this content page. Note that description for content 1 is compulsory. This implies that this content page should have at least one sub-page link to it. Click in the description box for content 1 and enter the page name as Meteors. This would appear as a button at the bottom of the page. Similarly, in the description box for content 2, enter Heavenly Bodies. And for content 3, enter the name of Planets. And click Save Page. As you can see we have just added a new page in our lesson activity. Now to add another page to the lesson expand, add a new page drop down menu. This time we will add a question page. So click on question. To add a question page we need to select what kind of question page we want to add. So, expand, select a question type drop down menu. And select true false to add a true false type question page. Now click on add a question page link. Enter the page title as Meteors. In the page contents box, enter the contents for the page. You can also copy the content from Meteors.txt file and paste it here. Hit return to move on to next line at the end of the text. Now enter the true false question for the page after the page content. Let's enter, is Meteors also known as shooting stars? Select the question and make it bold. Scroll down for other settings. Since it is a true-false type question page, so under correct response, in the answer text box, enter true as correct answer. In response text box, enter the response the student would get if he selects this answer. Enter correct answer as the response. And in the correct answer score box, enter 10 as the score awarded for correct answer. Similarly, in the answer text box under wrong response, Enter false as the wrong answer. And in the response text box. Enter wrong answer. Leave wrong answer score to default zero. And click save page. Note that till now we have added a content page called universe and a question page called meteors. In a similar manner, you have to add other pages in the lesson activity yourself as described in the document. This is how the edit page would look like, once we have added all the pages in the lesson. Let's edit a page and see its settings. As we can see, the page title is Sun. It is a multiple choice question type page. And it has only two jumps as it is a multiple choice question and contains only two answers, one right and the other wrong. Click on the edit icon beside the page named Sun. As we can see, now we are editing the multiple choice question type page. In the page contents box, drag the sidebar down to see the content of the page and the question. Note that, by default multiple choice questions have a single answer. By clicking the multiple answer checkbox, we can have multiple choice question, with more than one answer and varying grades as per the answer. Scroll down to reveal other options. As this is multiple choice question you can have more than one answer. For every answer block, we have an answer, response, jump and score settings. In the answer box we feed one of the answers for the question which may be right or wrong. For example, let's enter, sun is a heavenly body. The sun has its own light. It gives us heat, light and energy in the answer one. In the response box, enter text that a student gets as feedback when he chooses the corresponding answer. Let's enter good, your answer is correct. 
Leave jumps for the time being. We would see them later in this lesson. Notice the awarded score for the answer is 10. Similarly we can enter answer, response and score for answer 2. Note that as it is multiple choice single answer type question, only one answer would be correct and others wrong. This is the reason why score is 0 for answer 2. Scroll down and click save changes. Note that we have added all the pages as per document. Now we would set jumps within pages to make lesson work. After setting jumps the pages would be interlinked and lesson would work smoothly. Kindly open the document and go to setting jumps topic to understand the concept. Click on the edit icon for the very first content page called universe. Scroll down to content one block. And expand the jump drop down menu. Select the meteors from the options. This would cause our jump to Meteors page whenever a user clicks the Meteors button on the Universe page. Similarly, expand Jump drop-down menu in the Content 2 block. And set it to Heavenly Bodies page. Similarly expand the Jump drop-down menu for Content 3 block. And select Planets to set the Jump to Planets page. Click Save Page. Notice that we have set all jumps for Universe page. Now to set jumps for the Meteors page, click on the edit icon. Note that here we have to set two jumps. On the edit page, scroll down to reveal correct answer jump and wrong answer jump drop down menu. Presently these are set using relative jumps like this page and next page. Set them using absolute jumps. Expand correct answer jump drop down menu. We want the user to return to universe page in case of correct response. So select Universe from the options. Now expand the wrong answer jump. We need to keep the user to present page, that is Meteors, in case his answer is wrong. So select Meteors from the options. Then click Save Page. Notice that the jumps has been set for the Meteors page. Now, let's set jumps for the Heavenly Bodies page. Notice, here we have to set three jumps. Click on the edit icon for the Heavenly Bodies page. Scroll down to see present jumps. Expand Jump for Content 1 block. And select Sun from the options. This will cause our Jump to Sun page, in case a user presses the Sun button on the bottom of this page. Similarly set the jumps for Moon under Content 2 block. Expand Jump and select Moon. Similarly expand Jump in Content 3 block. And select Star. Now click Save Page. And in a similar way, set jumps for other pages. This is how the lesson would look like once all the pages are added and jumps have been set. Now that our lesson is complete, we would attempt it as a student to see how it works. Switch to Google Chrome now and attempt the lesson as Student 1. Notice that we are logged in as student 1. Click on the Universe lesson. Click on the Meteors button to move to Meteors page. As we recall, Meteors is a true-false question type page. Select true for the question. And click submit. Notice the feedback and click continue. Notice that on pressing the continue button, you're redirected to Universe page as set in jumps for the Meteors page. Now let's see Heavenly Bodies page. As we recall, Heavenly Bodies is a content page with three sub-pages linked to it, that is Sun, Moon and Stars. Click on the Sun button to move to Sun page. It is a multiple choice question type page with two responses. Let's select the second response, which is the right one, and click Submit. Notice the feedback and click Continue. As set in jumps, we are redirected to Moon page, which is a true-false question type page. Let's select true, which is wrong answer, and click submit. Notice the feedback and click continue. Note that we haven't moved to next page, rather we are redirected to the same page, that is Moon. This time let's select false as response and click submit. Again note the feedback and click continue. This time we are redirected to stars page as expected. As we remember, stars is a multiple choice question type page. Select constellation as the answer and click submit. 
Now, as expected we are redirected to the universe page. Now, click on planets button to see the planets page. Select true and click submit. Since the answer was right, you're redirected to end of lesson page as denoted by the message. Here, you can review lesson, return to course main page or view your grades for the lesson. Let's click view grades. Notice that you are not allotted any grades for the lesson activity, as the lesson was set as practice lesson for which no grades are allowed. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.